Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, Dokkan Now Volume 4 dropped about an hour ago. We did a live reaction with my boy Toon Rami. It was a ton of fun. We had so many people show up too. Like, I think at one point it was over 5,000 concurrent viewers, which is just absolutely insane to me. So, shout out to everybody who uh, showed up. Now, of course, for those of you that couldn't be there, it's all good. We're going to do a quick condensed uh, version of uh, you know everything that was covered in the Dokkan Now program to keep you guys in the loop as well. So with all that said, let's just jump right into it. First things first, we have the host of the program, which is the homie show. Really good dude. Love this guy. And his English actually is getting better from video to video. So shout out to him as well. And he revealed to us that the theme for this year's Saiyan Day celebration is Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, which is to be expected because uh, it was leaked a couple days ago by I Seriously. But we do know that it's going to be the Z Broly now as opposed to the Super Broly. So that's uh, some new information, I guess. And moving on to the announcement for the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. It's going to be versus... Uh, what's it called? Formidable Saiyans. There's going to be a new Saiyan for every single stage. So for phase one, it's Raditz, and then Nappa, and then Vegeta, then Turles, uh, Paragus, and then Broly, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly as the final boss. The two categories you will need to use are uh, low class warriors and pure Saiyan. No, not pure Saiyans. Uh, Super Saiyans, if you want to clear all the missions. Okay, so just your standard infinite Dragon Ball history stage but uh, some more stones, which is always nice. And from there, we have a new stage for the uh, Berserker of Destruction Dokkan event, obviously to get the Awakening Medals for the new Broly. And let's see what else we have here. Okay, so this is the co-op campaign with Global and JP. We clear missions together and get some rewards, some Dragon Stones, some Sleepy Kai's. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, training locations or training items, I think, and also awakening medals. So nothing too crazy, but some rewards from this. There's also going to be individual missions and also a new wallpaper that everybody gets on both sides with Broly fighting Goku and then the baby Broly and the baby Goku in the background as well. Uh, really dope wallpaper, definitely one of the better ones in the game. So look forward to that as well. And... What else do we have here? Okay, so of course, special missions, login bonus, new Trunks and Gohan arts, which we will, you know, take a look at in a second, or you'll find out the origin of these arts in a second. But uh, before we talk about that, so they showed the animation for Broly. I'm not going to show them in this video, mainly because I'm going to get demonetized if I do. But if you guys really want to see them, I did obviously react to them in the uh, reaction live stream. So I'll put a link above my head. Feel free. To go check that out. All I'll say is they looked really good, but uh, they're not my favorite. You know, I like I wouldn't say they're top five, maybe top ten. Very clean animations, just didn't really blow me away, if I'm being completely honest. Now the arts for this Broly are fantastic. Okay, especially the SSR art. It's really a shame that he doesn't just like token into this and then transform into this uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I would have preferred that because I just want to see this art more, you know, like it's a, it's a waste because after you don't awaken him, you're never going to see this art and it just looks so good, you know. But uh, anyways, this is the pre-awaken art. This is the uh, Dokkan awaken art. And now let's get over to his details. His new category is called Planetary Destruction and his other categories are Pure Saiyans, Movie Bosses and Human Deeds, Full Power Target Goku and Exploding Rage. His... Uh, passive is super long, but it's worth the read. So basically, it's key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180% just to start. And then he gets damage reduction of 18% and additional critical hit chance plus 18%. And then he launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional key plus 3 and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and reduces damage received by 18% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% within the same turn after performing a super attack when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. So essentially, he gets the key plus 3 attack and defense plus 180% and also the 18% damage reduction, 18% crit chance, 
and medium chance of launching an additional super attack just you know for nothing there's no condition for that but if you have a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy then he gets an additional 18% damage reduction, 18% crit chance, and also uh, another medium chance of launching and another super. So on his passive, he can he can potentially get uh, you know 36% 36% damage reduction, 36% crit chance, and also key plus six attack and defense plus 180%, and up to two additional supers. So if you include a potential hidden potential uh, super as well, this guy can super up to four times in a turn, okay? And that's extra insane because his super attack stacks attack and defense infinitely, guys. So think about him getting up to four supers in a turn and stacking attack and defense with every single one of those supers. That is crazy. And of course he has a, you know, leader skill, which is nice. Planetary destruction or movie bosses, key plus three, HP plus 130%, attack and defense, plus 170%. That's cool, that's fine, but dude, <laughs> his passive plus his super attack up to four supers, guys, infinitely stacking every single time. That's just wild. Um, he has, of course, an active skill animation, which I won't show here, but a lot of people were complaining about it a little bit because they didn't like the voice actor. I think it's okay, it's not the best, but I'm fine with it, honestly. His active skill effect is key plus 6, attack plus 60%, and attacks effective against all types for one turn can be activated after he launches at least 4 super attacks or more. So if you get really lucky, on the first turn he appears, he'll launch 4 supers, and then on the second time he appears, he'll be able to use the, super, uh, use the active skill, which of course is a amazing effect. Key plus 6, attack plus 60%, attacks effective against all types. Even if you get unlucky, he's most likely gonna launch like at least two supers in a turn, right? So on the third appearance, you'll be able to use the active skill. So uh, yeah, amazing active skill, amazing passive, amazing super attack, great leader skill. Like, what, what, what more could you want, you know? Like this Broly literally has everything I could ask for. And uh, there's also gonna be a new side unit, which is a Trunks that has a unit super attack with Gohan. So that's where the assets come from. And uh, we'll talk about their details in a second too. But uh, before we move on, Extreme Z Awakening for STR LR Broly. Dude, it, it's been a long time coming. He really needed it badly. So, uh, leader skill is going to be STR Type Ski plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Uh, his super attacks both raise attack and defense for one turn. The 12 key causes colossal damage, 18 key causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 50% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and launches an additional super attack when performing a super attack. He plus 5 when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. And then attacks effective against all types and guaranteed to hit when there is a Goku's family category enemy. So I got no complaints about this EZA. I think it looks great. Um, he's finally getting some defense. He's getting percentage boosts. He gets uh, more key when you're facing pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, which are a lot of enemies in the game. The first thing I thought of was for, for World Tournament, he's going to be even better now because he gets key plus five, you know, if you're facing like a Goku or a Vegeta or whatever. So um, you're going to be able to get his super attack off a lot more often or a lot easier. And then, uh, of course, attacks effective against all types when facing Goku's family. So, you know, Gohans, Gokus, Bardocks, Raditz so on and so forth, right? So, he looks awesome. He looks really awesome. And of course, raising attack and defense on the super attack also helps. So yeah, LR Broly is yay. Very happy about that. Then we have some social media stuff. And uh, finally, everybody gets five stones in their box uh, in a couple hours. So if you don't have it yet, don't freak out. It's coming. So that's the Dokkan Now program. Before we go, let's check out the details for this Gohan and uh, Trunks, right? So, uh, actually it's just Trunks. It's just Super Saiyan Trunks, and the Gohan is there for the unit super attack. So, leader skill is gonna be Hybrid Saiyans, category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Passive is attack and defense plus 200%. I know it's hard to see, but trust me. Attack and defense plus 200%, and medium chance of launching an additional super attack. Hybrid Saiyans, category allies, key plus three, Attack and defense plus 40%. Wow. 
Not only do they get a huge boost by themselves and additional super, medium chance for additional super, they are, they are also literally one of the best hybrid Saiyans supports in the game now. And uh, Link's are Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment, um, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Movie Heroes, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, uh, Super Saiyans, and Bond of Master and Disciple. Oh, and also Battle of Wits. And then we have Super Attacks, the 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then we have the unit super attack, which greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense and causes immense damage and a high chance of stunning the enemy. So that's of course with a youth Gohan. On rotation, you get the unit super attack, which is a double Masenko. Now, uh, they did post the animation here as well, I believe, only for the Trunks and uh, Gohan though, which I think is safe to show you guys. The Broly one is not safe because I know they're going to demonetize me, but I can show you guys this one. So uh, let me turn off my music and let's check out these animations here. Here we go. All right, there you go. I mean, looks good. Yes, these animations look really, really solid, looking clean. I love me some Trunks. As you guys know, he's one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise, so uh, I'm glad he's getting a little bit more love too. Although we do have a lot of Trunks in this game, so I guess he didn't, didn't really need the love. But no nonetheless, I'm happy with getting a new trunk still. Unit Super Attack looks solid too. Um, nothing to really complain about. So there you go, guys. That is today's uh, video today's recap um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys ooh, my bad let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for the new Broly the LR uh, STR Broly Extreme Z Awakening the Trunks and Goten or sorry Trunks and uh, Gohan and uh, everything else we covered in this video okay guys thank you so much for watching um, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.